Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, I have not sat down and filmed in such a long time. So it feels so good to finally be sitting down and talking to you guys again. Sorry if you guys can hear the fan in the background. It is so hot in here. I like also want to open the door, but like I live on a main road. So anyone that walks past is going to be able to hear me filming. So for this week's video, I thought I would film another what's in my bag for you guys. As you may or may not be able to tell, my bag just has just crap everywhere in it it needs a good sort through my wallet is shocking like it is the exact same like it needs a really really good sort through my last one i think it did quite well i haven't done one in over a year I thought it was about time that i did another one for you guys so without further ado let's jump into this video so as you guys would have seen in the thumbnail this is my new handbag here this one i actually found in an op shop it is a coach 1941 designer bag i know that it is designer because it has a little in the inside let me just see if i can read it so it says this is a coach bag it was handcrafted from the finest materials trimmed with leather its superior craftsmanship and attention to detail reflect our commitment to in Wiring quality. I found it at the Save My Op Shop for ten dollars. I hate to think how much this would cost new. Quite a sturdy bag. I can fit quite a lot in. Um, it's got like a massive compartment in the middle, and it's got like a whole lot of smaller compartments, and it's got like a couple of zip compartments on the side. Straps are a little bit like starting to wear, which I'm guessing is why. The person that owned this before me put it in the op shop but as you can see like it's still a really really sturdy handbag and the minute I saw this bag I was like oh, it looks like a designer bag and I had a look at it and I really really liked it but I didn't pick it up until I was almost ready to go to the checkout because I could not stop thinking about it and I'm so so glad that I did so now let's actually delve into what I've got in here first thing that I always carry is actually my camera which is what I'm currently filming on now I kind of keep it in here just in case like there's any moment when I want to pull out my camera I guess um, so I'm using the Canon G7X Mark II. Um, I did show you guys this in my last What's My Bag video. So my phone, obviously, this is the same phone as the one in my last one. Um, this is just a Samsung Galaxy J2. As I'm sure most of us do carry around my keys. Um, so it's just like got my car key and my house key on it. Kind of keep it on this little like lanyard. Um, it's just a New Zealand lanyard. Um, I got this in my gala haul the first year that I went. Um, so if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. Got a couple of key rings on here. So the first one I've got is just this $20 New Zealand money note, which I think is quite cute. I've got this little pink faux glass ball. It's actually plastic, but I think it's made to look like it's glass. Um, and then the last key ring that I've got on here is this one here, which I don't know if it wants to focus or not but um it's just like a little pink circle that's got some gold leaves around it it's got a little gold tassel there. and it just says i love you and phil actually got me this one for my keys it's also got a little like love heart my new sd card so phil and i bought this yesterday um so it's just a 64 gig sim card um that's why it's in here book I always have a book in my bag at the moment I am currently reading Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone I have never ever read the Harry Potter series I have all of them bar the new one um, in my bookshelf over there um, and I've always said to myself like oh, I'll get around to reading them eventually um, but then I never ever have so I thought it's probably about time that I pick up the book um, I am up to chapter 7 which is the sorting hat so you can kind of if you've seen the movie you can kind of gauge where I'm up to with that. I don't even know what this is. Uh, it's just a letter telling me about my flybys updates. Mail gets sent to my mum's house so hence why I always have like a lot of mail in my bag. Farmer's Christmas letter thing. Another farmer's Christmas brochure thing which can be binned. I have a speeding ticket from the police which I have 
already paid off. This book here, so this one I actually got from Typo and it's just got like a whole bunch of cities on it. Um, I have got this in a previous haul to write down like stuff for my YouTube description boxes in here. I have a Kmart gift card wrapper thing. This is in here because obviously I put it in here because I got this for um, Christmas from mum. The reason the gift card is not in here is because I think it's in my wallet but I've already used it up. So this is such a random, like what's in my bag, like there's so much paper in here, it's not even funny. Seat. Ah. Oh. Elf finishing powder and candle gift pack. So this was from Kmart and this was just some Christmas bits that I bought. I was like, what's the stop here pillowcase? I don't remember that in the keyboard planner. But now I remember what it is. Some of that was my secret Santa present and the other half was for me. So. I have some headphones which are completely nicely tangled. And um, these are just some turquoise ones from the warehouse. Um, if anyone has any tips on how to make them not tangled like this in your bag, can you leave them in the comments box below because I always spend like at least five minutes trying to untangle this mess and it drives me nuts. I have this little green and red ribbon. Um, this was just on a Christmas present and I just thought it might be quite nice just to save and like use as like a Christmas hair accessory. My wallet. So this is the same wallet that I was using in my last What's My Bag video. Um, this one was just gifted to me but I've got the one that was in my what I got for Christmas video that I'm going to transfer everything over to after this video just because this one's kind of getting a bit old and tattered and I've had this one for the longest time so that's how bad my wallet has gotten like there's just so much crap in here but Salvation Army thank you sticker on there and a I voted sticker because obviously I'm over 18 um, I'm 20 if you guys didn't know obviously I'm over the voting age limit here in New Zealand I'm guessing if we just go through my cards first got my FPOS card, my debit card, my credit card and my old bank card. These kind of just all stay in there. License, um, this, I'm on my restricted license now which is great. Library card, now this has actually expired so I need to go and get a new one. Cotton On and Co perks card, so these are great, these are like for Cotton On, Factory, Supri, Typo, like I pretty much have a loyalty card for anything. Farmers Club card, use that all the time. If you shop at Farmers quite a lot, highly recommend getting one. Sub card, I haven't used this in a while actually, I used to use this all the time. New World Club card, because I get all of my groceries from New World. If you guys get your groceries from New World and you don't have one of these cards, um, please go and get one. They're really, really easy. You just apply online and it saves you so much money when you grocery shop at New World because New World is expensive. Plus card, hardly ever use this now because I've got my card but I kind of keep it just in case. Body Shop card, use that quite a bit. Club Natural card, I've never ever used this in my life. Still got my Breakers card from when I was under the age of getting meals cheaper. Wild Bean Cafe card, they do really really good hot chocolates and I also get my petrol from BP so I have a lot of business cards in here. So these are my like stampy type cards. So I've got two um, Starbucks ones because I can never ever find them in my wallet because my wallet's a mess so I just get new ones. Here's it one, I've got my IRD one, I've got the chalk and cheese one free coffee with any menu item which I'm hoping covers hot chocolates because I don't drink coffee and my charity shop loyalty card which if you get five stamps you get five dollars off your next purchase and if you get ten stamps you get ten dollars off your next purchase which is quite cool in an op shop because if you guys haven't been on my channel for a while then you won't know but if you have you will know that I op shop all the time like I love op shopping um, and there's so many good ones around where I live as well. Kmart Merry Christmas gift card that I was telling you guys about before. Warehouse gift card which doesn't have very very much left on it because we've pretty much spent all the money on it. Farmer's gift card. This one does still have money left on it. Yeah my memory card went full so just had to change it to the one that I showed you guys before. And then the lucky last card that I've got in here is my living rewards card for pharmacies. So I've got a dollar in loose change. Now I'm going to go through all this paper here in the middle because this has been driving me insane for 
weeks now but I've been waiting until I got the other SD card so that I could film so that I could do this all on camera for you guys. Just pack business card. New world receipt. I spent $217.36. Fuel up in a new word. Tell us how we did today and be in the draw to win a $500 gift card. Does anyone actually do those? Because I never ever do. It's a shopping list, which I'm guessing is for the one I just read out because it literally has like everything that I bought on there. Oh, there's a receipt for a Juna cafe. Receipt here from factory for the wallet that I bought Phil for Christmas. Got a warehouse receipt. For the proposal DVD, we went back and got this because Phil really, really loves this movie. A $50 note for my Warrant Fitness that's coming up. I have a few receipts here. What's this one? One's for Save Mart. I spent $14.98. One's for Cranford. I spent $1.50, so that's another op shop. Um, there's another one for Cranford. I think that's the same one because it's got the same amount written on it. Another lot of New World receipts. There's so much paper with receipts, isn't there? It's been $45.94. So this receipt here was for all of the things that we bought for Christmas breakfast. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, by the way, you totally should. It's just a little obsessed. It's linked down below in the description as always. Um, Bill and I cooked breakfast for my family. Um, so we made the weekend brunch which is from Zoe's Quarterly Invited book. So it looks like that. I posted a photo on my Instagram, that's why I say if you guys follow me on Instagram you'll know and if you don't then you won't know. Receipt for pack and save. So I never ever shop at pack and save. It's more just like quick snacky type stuff that I deliciosa for $7.50, so that's a restaurant, um, for the automotive place for $40. So I had them change my oil because it's the exciting things when you get a car is you have to pay for oil changes, you have to pay for regos, you have to pay for warrant fitnesses. There's so much stuff that comes with a car, it's ridiculous. Oh, it's another new world receipt. This time I spent $85.60. Another shopping list. Oh, that was my most recent one. So that just has biscuits, English muffins, balsamic glaze, hand wash, chicken tenders, apricot, orange juice, milk, ice cream, hair gel, bananas, cocoa pops, toilet paper, muffin cases, pineapple and bread. Movie tickets for reading cinemas, experience the difference. So these ones were for the Grinch, speeding ticket that I have paid off. So that's for the council for $30, that was my parking ticket that I got. I have a receipt for back door for my Sex Wax car air freshener. I get the grape one, um, they're really really good, they last like a year. Receipt for Cranford Hospice, again for $1.50. little CPR card in here, so I'll keep that. Business card. I have a Nikki Thompson design business card. I've got a specific tattoo and pierce business card and a directions business card and the orthodontics business card. Tape for Cranford for $1.50. Oh yeah, that was my Boxing Day receipt. So it's just a thing that my doctor gave me. You know what there isn't a lot of in here? It's McDonald's numbers. I have a receipt for the warehouse. This, this was a new plumber. A receipt for pharmacy for $5. That was Tip My Kill. Yoga business card doctor's business card the lions club receipt for 36 dollars so i'm guessing that was for my lions book sale or part of it anyways another new world receipt so this time i got bacon carbonara so that's pasta risotto rice pineapple chunks or chocolate muffins wraps pizza bases barbecue sauce cocoa pops juice coffee two things of biscuits, English muffins, three loaves of bread, mince, bananas, cabbage, apples, tomatoes, chicken nuggets, cheese, strawberry yogurt, three litre milk, mince and chicken breasts. Body shop receipt, Ratchy in here that I haven't done, which I'm going to be annoyed if I've actually won something on here because it's out of date so... Oh, it's alright, I'm not an instant winner, guys. Another shopping list. I have a Helen Stein's receipt. Oh, that was a gift card. 
so I bought Phil a gift card for Christmas and that's what that was. Business card for a car place. This is for another op shop where I spent $2.20. It was our number for the little um, fish and chip place at the beach. Movie tickets. These ones were for a simple favour when Phil and I went to go and see that. Countdown receipt for two litre milk and pads because I'm a grown up now. Get here for the mortal engines. Farmer's receipt for banana grams. What another receipt? What's this for? Offer no lemmings. Oh, that was just for the um, SD card that I bought. Cost me ninety dollars. And then the last receipt in here is a Supre receipt. So it's for both mine and Phil's star sign necklaces. So I got Gemini and he got Virgo. So these were only two dollars each. So we kind of thought why not so yeah that is everything that was in my wallet I feel like that's probably just taken up half of this video right moving back on to what's actually in my bag my sunglasses from Supre that need a really really good clean that's what they look like they're just rose gold ones I bought them last year around Christmas time a lot of headphones I have no idea why I've got two in here they make no sense a couple of tissues I have a chocolate wrapper for a Lindor chocolate. Um, I have the pom-pom that came off my keys. Wrapper for Dairy Milk's Caramello chocolate. Durance letter. I still have my Lush Toothy Tab mint thingies in here. Receipt in here. This is from Kmart. This is for a foundation. Receipt from the warehouse. I have a hand cream in here. This one is the Body Shop's frosted berries i'm gonna put some of that on now actually if you guys haven't tried the body shop hand creams please go out and check them out because they're so good and this one's almost out but i've got like five of them in my cupboard receipt for the bank oh, i meant to hand that in ages ago that's um phillips dental form oh here we go a mcdonald's order for 131 for an aioli wrap and a large chocolate shake. Well, not much has changed because I still get that. The all that I take, farmers for, I'm guessing for Christmas, and that's thrown out. TVs, we have a Christmas joke, so it says, what do Santa's little helpers learn at school? The alphabet. I'm wondering where all my pens went. So I have three pens in here, which is great because I've been running out of pens. Um, I have my old aux cord for my car, but this broke, so um, I'm using Phil's one now, so that can be thrown out. I have my little ruler thing that I got in my Christmas cracker. A lot of these little, um, like, red bead things, and that's because my bracelet actually broke. The Caramello chocolate wrapper. I have a Whisper chocolate wrapper. Oh my gosh, these are so good. I love these. They came in like the heroes box at Christmas time. I have a nail file that's actually looking quite rank, so I might get rid of that one and buy a new one. Little fold up hairbrush from the Wellington Zoo quite a while ago. Hair ties and bobby pins. I have this little jewelry box thing in here that I always keep a spare nose ring and a spare belly button bar in here. Um, I don't know, just in case they kind of fall out, I just keep them in my bag. Hand sanitizer. This is the Palm Olives Sweet Pea Hand Sanitizer. I have a mint in its wrapper, but I'll probably chuck that out. I still have my Lush Passion Fruit Lip Balm in here. I really like this one. It smells really, really good. Another receipt in here, which was a Kmart receipt, but it's so faded I can't even read it. So that's all the main stuff. So now I'm just going into like all these kind of like side pocket things. My MAC liquid lipstick, this is the retro matte liquid lip color in It Feels So Grand. So this is the lipstick that I was wearing for most days in December last year. Um, it's always my go-to like Christmas lip color. I have a USB in here which I'm guessing has some videos on that I need to upload. Another wrapper for a chocolate seat from the warehouse. This is for the Dunkirk DVD, the Home Alone DVD, and the Rough Night DVD. Hubba Bubba gum, groovy grape scent, but I don't really do gum, so it's kind of just in there. 
in case. Another USB which has footage on it. I have these earrings in here because I need to super glow the patterns back on because they're kind of broke and I've never ever worn these. So another Kmart receipt. So this one's for tinsel, tinsel, two lots of baubles and the Christmas tree. This is my beauty therapy card and recommendations for aftercare. So that's good because I've had no idea when my next appointments were. There's a lot of like hair ties and stuff in here. Um, another USB weapons. And I have a couple of rings which I wore around Christmas time um, but they keep falling off. Earrings as well. Every girl will know what this is. Um, this just has like spare pads and tampons and stuff in which always comes in handy. Even if you're not the one on your period, someone always is and someone will not have stuff with them. So it's always good if you've got some. Farmer's mail thing. have my sunglasses case. Oh my gosh, another pen. One from work. How did that end up in there? I have a choker in here. I have a spare toothbrush. I always have a spare toothbrush in my bag. A little journal thing. Ah, and an old assessment. So that is absolutely everything that is in my bag. Oh my gosh, I feel like this video has probably been quite a long one but if you guys did enjoy seeing what's in my bag then please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already again if you guys haven't seen the other what's in my bag video i'll link it down below so you can go and check that out if you haven't please check out all my social media it's all linked in the description box below go and give me a follow over there i will see you guys in my next video bye oh nope I feel like we're lopsided. Mm. Can we just excuse the fact that my foundation just looks horrible on my nose? I kind of got sunburn on my nose and now it's starting to peel and my makeup just is not sitting right on top of it. This truck going past. I <coughs> Ah, moving on. It's all on the floor because otherwise this pile is going to just grow and grow and grow. There's so much crap in here. Oh, everything's falling out.